Welcome back, Terrestrials. In this episode, actually, let's take time to thank all of our new subscribers. I think that that's important. We've been getting a fair amount of new subscribers. Everybody's commenting. Right. We're having a good time. Thank you for joining us. Um, you know, we'll keep doing it. Uh, all right. Now, in this episode, we're continuing with our remake series run. We're doing 2003's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm not going to do video store totals on this because I'm tired. So, Jerry, what's your grade? <laughs> I just, I don't have the effort. Yeah, I don't it. have the effort. And I don't feel like this one's the worst. It, yeah, yeah. Money, somebody, fucking, it was, was it Michael it was Bay made, put some money into yeah, it. Yeah, um, he yeah. directed it. Fucking, um, yeah, there were some kills. People died. Um, all right. Like, what do you grade this? A B. A B. A B. A B. A B. All, right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. A a B. A B. A B. What are you doing? Where are you going? B. Where are you um, there is is not a B. Um, I don't know. I, I man, I see the problem is I'm torn, right? Because this isn't bad, but the next one is so much better. Um, I'm talking so, about the next one. What I know, is it? I know. It's a B. I know. Oh, coming okay. from the guy that takes every other movie into consideration ever in life before he uh grades one movie. Um, I don't know, man. I think that a fair, I don't know. I got to go with just like maybe a C plus. It's it's good, but it almost feels like this was the proof of concept to go to the next one. Okay. This one felt like a stepping stone. I mean, well, yeah, Jessica Biel, she she does okay. Don't you get it? He's going to kill you. You're all going to die. Like, all right, whatever. We know why she's in the movie. It's that tank top and those low cut jeans. It's not her <laughs> acting ability. Let's just be honest. Um, I think that there are good aspects to this movie. I think they yes. took the original story and they touched on some really good aspects. Yes. I think that Leatherface looked good. Um, it was pass. Yeah. Hey, the next one he's wearing like half a mask. Right. So let's let's be honest. Out of the two, this is the Leatherface that we want to see versus the next movie's leather face so right. um but again the story is it's not there for me um yeah because I, it's the same thing that's rinse well, and repeat from the first movie it okay let me let me ask you a question did this movie minus characters okay did this yeah. movie bring anything new to the table of the texas chainsaw yeah, massacre it did. It brought the it brought the kid. Mm. It brought the trailer and family in the trailer. Okay. It brought the store. It shows that they own the town, basically. Sure. They um, the 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 store, you could say that's in the first movie. Yeah, but the gas I, okay. station. Yeah. I mean, you know? yeah, technically. Um but I feel like it did bring more it. <sighs> It felt more Devil's Rejects-y, like everybody's in on it. Mm -hmm. Or Hells of a Thousand Corpses. It felt Hells of a Thousand Corpses because everybody's in on it. Yeah. Um, Like the hitchhike, you know, the person that you're going to catch a ride from after this ordeal is going to take you right back. Right. Like it, the, the tractor trailer scene, I could have very easily seen that they wrote that as like just a normal car that picks her up and takes her right back to the family. Mm -hmm. Like that's the kind of feel that it gives. Um, yeah. What do you, I mean, what do you think? I'm very like scatterbrained uh, about like... this one because <laughs> there's things that I like and there's like, things that I don't. And I'm yeah. trying to like, not... I, I had the same problem where I'm like, it's fucking passes. It's, it's definitely like, it's good, but it's like, it's good. You know, like I enjoy it, but it's not, like it is a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like you can say that, you know, compared to like the after two, after Texas Chainsaw Massacre two, like it. Don't you dare shit on Next Generation. 
well, no, I'm not shitting on it because okay. each Texas Chainsaw Massacre is completely different. Yeah. And because each Texas Chainsaw Massacre is different, when I come to this one and I just go, yeah, but there's just none of that like magic. It's like, oh, we have to have this and we have right. to have that and we have to have, you know, and the best then, way I can, sorry to cut you off. I just, no, no, I'm going ahead. to, I'm going to put this as simple as terms. I think every, every male, every female can come to the root. This is the easiest way I can put it. It's fucking somebody that you don't really like. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's like, yeah, it's, it was good, but I didn't, I wasn't, my heart wasn't in it. Yeah. Like it's pizza. It's, it, pizza. Yeah, it's pizza. Even when it's bad, it's still it's pizza. good. You know, I, you know, all right. So, but there was nothing in this. So that made me like completely fucking hate it. Not like, right. oh my God, this and oh my right. God, that, you know, like in like the mm -hmm. Freddy one that we just did, or, you know, yeah. like a couple things in the Jason one where it's just like, oh, uh, you know, like the 2000 stink. It has that, but that's not like its problem. The problem is, is that it just, it, it, it is. <laughs> well, like, I mean, no, we're trying to keep up to the, the the gruesomeness or the right. intensity from the first one well you know you're not well, they i mean you're they not gonna get that. that first one you know they you're they outdid gonna... the gore of the first one because the first one barely yeah. had blood in it right um so they they did a good job with that but okay so the the hitchhiker good good work good way to it's like it's a different i like that it's a different you know? aspect she's you know she's a part of the family she doesn't want to be a part of the family she wants to be gone from the family right but you know i don't know how she got that big old 357 up there but she did and <laughs> yeah you know, it's just uh, but even that like i think she's a victim and they just well she's absolutely around, you yeah know? well i mean i don't know the the I, I no, because they find her picture in the car. Oh, that's right. Remember, it was they probably find a picture in the car, so she something. probably got the same thing that they got. Yeah, you know, they stopped in this town. Oh well, you yeah. know, you're, you know, something's wrong with the car. I, but, for some reason, you know, I thought she was part of the family. I don't no, know. she wasn't. Uh, I again, the you know, uh, but I think that that was good. There is one person that I absolutely love in this movie. We'll get to that because I know we're gonna sit there for a while and get to get to him. The best thing in this movie. No. Link <laughs> her. Oh, um, her. Okay. I absolutely love Pepper. Uh okay. the girl who plays Pepper. I love her. She <laughs> uh, she was in uh Book of Shadows. She was the witch yeah. in Book of Shadows. Um I love her character. I love her in this movie. She did a great job. She should have had Jessica Beale's role. She just was <laughs> not giving the she was not blessed with the same talents that Jessica Biel was. So right. she didn't get the role. Um, right. I think she did. I think she did a better job. Um, but you know, that's just me personally. Right. But in, in the long run, this movie still like, it's still it just dawned on me who you were talking about. Oh yeah. Uh, in, in this movie, it's still the counterculture versus the backwoods, you know, like, you know the them rural peoples and stuff yeah. and that's what the root of texas chainsaw massacre is it's all about you know the new kids bumping heads with the old guard you know mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't root for anything i wasn't like yay jessica peel got out of there not compared to fucking sally Hardestein and fucking right. the first one. The first one, I yeah. was like, oh man, she got, she's out. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Good. Everything's gonna be okay. I can go to bed tonight, feel safe and shit. Fucking but maybe I'm being too hard on Jessica Beale. Maybe, but then again, her character, like all the characters, like the characters, you know, are kind of like like, oh, that that person, you know, like well, okay, so you know, we got we we love Hellride. I don't know why you shit on Hellride. I we love Hellride. No, I love Hellride. But you shit on Hellride. 
when we when we reviewed it i was like right. oh you know i gotta set it low because the bar has to be at this standard and then when we did a star wars i was like no i fucking completely yeah. was wrong in that yeah, review it's a five star movie um five star movie pistoleros in it uh right pistolero or comanche i think he's comanche um oh yeah pistoleros no, the, the, the main mushroom guy. dude yeah uh comanche's in it he's the main character i don't dislike that guy no um he's a good so, actor yeah i just i don't he didn't live long enough to see it like no. he didn't live long enough to sell it um the younger boy with the surfer emo haircut um okay the blonde guy yeah he he did a good job i mean you know for for his character to be hung on that hook missing his leg doing that kind of thing like the, the one thing that i noticed with every character is i did not believe anybody was hurt i believe that they were it looked like they were acting that they were hurt hurt, hurt. yes is scared i'll debate it D jessica beal i believe that she was scared i believe that richie was scared i don't know if his name's richie i just assume it is yeah, i might be thinking 2009 uh yeah. jason stuff um, <laughs> the, gla the, the, the glasses kit glasses yeah. kit yes i believed he that was he did a really really in the job. back of the car yeah the lip with quivering the main, with and the stuff. main character yeah dealing with that there is fear yeah you can smell the shit in his pants yeah in that situation right and I think that gets us to the main talking point of why this is a B for me is the lightning. Say in a his bottle. name. Say his name. Uh, Sheriff Hoyt. No, say his real name. <laughs> no, I'm not going <laughs> to. R.E.M. Limery. Yep, there we go. <laughs> what, uh, what's there his it name? Is. Um, yeah. R.E.M. Limley. He is. What's the... his name? R. E. Emery. Yeah. I like R. E. M. Limery. Yeah, sure. Why not? Angelina <laughs> Jolie. Uh, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Uh, Anna Jana. I think that if anybody, I, I mean, I know that, you know, Leatherface, he did a good job. You know, they, they did a decent job with him. Right. Uh, far better than, you know, 2000, uh, you know, 2000, whatever, 29 or something, yeah, 23 or whatever. Yeah, whatever now. that Netflix um, thing was. Yeah, 2019, whatever right. the fuck. Yeah, they did a better job of the way he looked. Um, but the main thing is Sheriff Hoyt. Yeah, he the steals Sheriff. the show in this movie. In the second one, I like him. Yeah. In this one, I don't like him. I do not because his act, is... not because of acting or anything. I don't like how good he is at that character. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he is he is if you I mean everybody if you've ever been young and driving in a little town like we, you know, live in. Yep, and that shit you cop are comes of pulling that. pulling up. And it holds true today. Right. Any person at any time that gets pulled over can be a victim of somebody like him mm -hmm. he is more terrifying i would i would much rather box leather face with that chainsaw than deal with that fucking cop yep only in the second one do we find out he's not really a fucking cop but yeah uh i if they haven't seen the movie jerry then too bad like it's yeah been no out but since if you keep mentioning it all we're gonna do is start talking about the second one wow. you know uh fucking... but i mean it, it you know it he he is terrifying he's that terrifying. line delivery yeah. that the way that he looks like not looks but he looks at you yeah it's like he's looking through you to see the lie yeah. you know yeah um <laughs> i think we got a problem here and then he pulls up the joint and is like, get the fuck out of the car. And like yeah. that, that fear, like where the, he... the, the scary thing is that he's not listening. He's not hearing what you're saying. He's no. not hearing. There's somebody, obviously, you know, he's in on it, but he's not listening to there's somebody murdering people down the road. He's hearing, I'm going to fuck with them some more about this joint. He's doing what cops 
sometimes do. They sometimes will ignore a fact to further their own needs. Right. And and that's terrifying. It he mm-hmm. he he is the terrifying they well, you've said it before. They should just make that movie. They should just have made that movie of just a because like okay, you think about it, there's never been just a like a psycho cop thing mm. movie. Like you can say maniac cop, but that 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 cop's got like a mangled face, but right. just that southern daddy fucking cop that is not taking shit and that's terrifying yeah that's terrifying like they 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 are probably when the hitchhiker in this and they have you know she dies they have to deal with it i bet they're like one they're in shock because this person just did that to themselves in the back of their car but now they're in texas and they need to call the police Mm -hmm. and they just want to have a good time that's their modem we just want to go see the fucking yeah they're going to a skinner concert yeah they just want to wild out at skinner you know and now they have to deal with this. And then when the cop finally shows up, you know, they have to go meet the cop. cop. He doesn't show up. They, oh, they yeah, have they, to go meet him. Yeah. Just like in a barn or some yeah. shit. And fucking... Yeah. Go over to this isolated area where nobody's going to hear you scream and meet the right. sheriff. And <laughs> like, that's when the shit really fucking starts hitting the fan. For sure. You know? And yeah, as good as he is in this one, Eon's better in the second one. Like yeah. the, the second one is more of his movie with Leatherface kind of like floating in the back. Uh, this right. one, they were like, oh, Leatherface, you know, yeah. we're going to make a Texas Chainsaw. You know, how, how what do you do in a Texas Chainsaw Massacre? You got to throw Leatherface and, right. you know, that and, you know, and they do that in the second one. But the the second one is more of the Hoyt story mm-hmm. that, that sheriff story and i wish that they would have seen that and gone that's your movie you just make that guy you just make that movie and i, I would have it would have been great you know i mean i'm glad we got the next one right you know it's the closest we're gonna get obviously but i think that this one leatherface i so you know, Leatherface is Leatherface has always been a big fella, right? Obviously, right. we know Gunnar Hansen was a big fella. Right. Um, and when I say that, I don't mean by height wise. I mean he's a big boy. Yes, um, he's he's chunky. Uh the athleticism of Leatherface in this one was really fun to watch. Right. I mean, you know, you 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 see Leatherface run in the OG, you see Leatherface running down the the uh driveway, but he's not hauling ass. He's kind of trotting. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, this one he comes flying out that fucking door ju- like just keeps going off that deck, misses all the stairs, like just haul it. And right. that smoke is coming off there and the lighting and stuff. It looked awesome. It looked so fun. <laughs> and, you know, he's chasing her through the woods and everything. It's it's just good. It's it's fun to watch that version of Leatherface. Because even though he was a little athletic in the OG, they didn't give him they didn't give him any attributes like that. Right. They put him on steroids in this one. And that chainsaw, I remember watching special features on one of them, this one or the next one. That that I think it's the next one. That the chainsaw was heavy as fuck. Right. Like it was like I think they I think I don't quote me on it, but I think it was 50 to 70 pounds of chainsaw that they had built. So it's like that's insane to mm-hmm. run with that type of thing. So I think that even though Hoyt is the the show stealer in this one, right. throwback to when we did that, um, Leatherface is not to 
be brushed off in this one. No, I think that no. those two characters worked well together. And even the family, the creepiness of the family, like the short haired woman, the fatty with like six necks, like they're just, they're all, they the feel tow truck brother. very, yeah, they feel very, um reminiscent of hills have eyes like that nuclear weird country family that's just the firefly like, family once yeah, more yeah yeah kind of but it's i mean on this level it's just like if you run across them you kind of go they're up to something i don't know what it is about that person but i don't like them you know, it's uh, that that country way, man. Fucking, it's I've met like, a I've lot seen of, that family, that exact family eating Cracker Barrel. I yeah, I mean yeah, I guess you're right. Like I, but there's I don't know. It might have been the camera angles or something, but I want to take a, a level minute. to it. I think that, we should take a, a still frame of this movie uh, with all of them at that dinner table and put it up in Cracker Barrel. Put a sepia tone on it, put it in a frame, and see if we can sneak it into the Cracker Barrel up the up the road. I'm sure we could. I'm, I'm yeah. sure we could. We'd like uh, distill it a little bit and shit, yeah, and then yeah, just like sure. you know. Absolutely. Oh my god! Go get. A I would fucking... probably rather do it with the original family than this one, but yeah. No, because that original family, like. And nobody remembers it's just... the family. They only. Well, yeah, I know. That's why, like, someone's gonna be sitting there and being like. Who the fuck are they? That, but okay. it's not like, you know, Kirk and Burrow has famous. Anyway, yeah, we can do it. That'd be fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I think that maybe I'm being too hard on the movie, but the entire time I was watching <laughs> it, I was just kind of like, it, it felt like it lacked heart or soul or something. Yeah. I got very bummed out when it... I texted you and I got very bummed out when this was the one that came on. Cause mm -hmm. I remember at one point, you know, you were like, yeah, no, I, I like the one with Jessica Beale. And I was like, that's why I texted you about it. And I, you know, obviously just mistaken, but yeah. when I turned this on, that's why I texted you. I was like, you like this one, <laughs> this one, this is the one, but no, I, no, I obviously, I, I think I'm being too hard on it, but, but it's not even like, I don't like it. It's just that I can't put my finger on why. I can't, I can't. Like what what is it about right. this movie and that I don't go like all in on right. this? And it's very rare in our position that we can't point out what we don't like right. in a movie. We're very good at that. Yeah. We're very good at honing in on no, this is horseshit. I can't do it. I can't yeah. figure it out in this movie. It's like everything's there. It you know, should be like a BB plus, but I'm not, I can't give it that. And I don't know why. Right. And I can't blame it all on Jessica Biel no. or any or the like, other actors in there that, right. That nobody did a bad job. Like, I mean, Jessica Biel was, you know, she overacted a few times, but when she's hiding from him in the house and stuff like that, and she's hiding, you know, the, the stoner boy, that was good. That was great. Mm -hmm. She looked like she was really scared. You know, she did a good job. Um, I, I I don't know. It's just is something about this movie that, and I think that at the time and it, it might be a little bit of this like subconsciously coming in, at the time, and I still am so in love with the original that when they did this, I was like, don't do this. Yeah, and then they did it, and I was like. I can't like this. Right. And even though I should be able to go, man, they kind of did a good job with this one. Right. I think that's the problem is that because the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is such a unique movie and so highly regarded in my brain mm. that a remake like if they would have just tacked on like Texas Chainsaw Massacre five, seven, yeah, or, yeah, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the new breed, or right, you know, right, like, right, yeah. like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you got a bigger a, chainsaw again. This time. Yeah, if they would have just done something like that, yeah, I would have been fine with this, right. you know, because once more, uh, other than one and two, 
you know, and you know, not even two because two is something completely different than one. Yeah, it's a fucking. But massive it's trip. a it's a different family. It's a different thing in each one. I mean, on all four of those movies up to this point, we're we're getting we're getting something different, you know. Right. And, and different family names too. Yeah, Sawyer. And, and yeah, one time he's Jeb, one time he's Thomas, one time yeah. he's this, like, and then Sawyer, Hoyt, Hewitt, like Hewitt. Yeah. Can we just narrow the shit down? That'd be like in no, Friday and Nightmare One. He's Freddy, and Nightmare Two. He's Jason and yeah, Nightmare like, Three is Christopher and Nightmare Four. Like, what is happening? Like, it's just don't reinvent the wheel. You got the character, just make yeah. them do something new. I did not like the way they killed Comanche in this movie, trying to touch it to the original. That kill in the original that we see the sludge hammer to the face, that is untouchable. That's in the my blonde mind. guy. No, the blonde headed guy and him no. going to the no, the, I thought he died. Com no. Comanche gets hit in the back of the head with a piece of wood and starts convulsing, and he drags him through the doorway and slams the door. Okay, yeah, uh, they I shouldn't have done that. Of, they shouldn't uh, have, don't when the blonde headed guy gets, yeah, don't touch perfection. All right, that that scene in the original, everything about that was perfect. Mm -hmm. That's when you fuck up is when you go instead of just redoing that now he's in a different area. The reason that worked was because he was right there. Right. It just as soon he swings the door open, bam, drags yeah. him, slams the door. The fluidity of that the, in the, the music. The hits angle, wow. Yeah. The angle, the everything. So when he is looking into another room and Leatherface sneaks up on him like and hits him and he falls down, you don't one of the things about the original was the sound of that guy's boots on the floor. Yep. You don't hear it in this one, but you can see him trying to act like he's convulsing. And then you see him like drag him into the door and slide, and the eye thing moving around. No. None okay. of that none of that worked for me. Maybe that's it. Maybe they just fucked up the most important shot in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. And I'm not happy about it. Like I said, you know, once more is that because you are saying, Oh, this is this is like a multiverse, okay? This is like, you know, like like one day 1974's, you know, uh Leatherface and this Leatherface are gonna battle, you know. It when Doctor Strange fucking yeah. like opens, opens the portal, yeah. yeah, fucking. But it just like no, just do something different, and you know, and keep it that way, and then name it something a little bit different, and I would have been fine with it, you know. Yeah. But yeah. no, I think just, that's the big takeaway with this one is just like do something completely different, or shot for shot it because right. i like the idea of leatherface being more gory i like the idea of it being more sexually charged i like that that's that mm -hmm. 2000s remake go to right just if you're going to do it do it nail it like right. we saw in 2010 nightmare they touched on those things but that would have been like, um, it would have been like if you took that Nancy in the tub scene where the claws come out and made it like a shower mm -hmm. and it comes from the wall or something. It, you changed the iconic thing that everybody talked about and loved that is held like, man, that scene was so good. And you change, no, the... don't change that shit the make it perfect the bed with when freddie like yeah like and the original it's simple and it's right. effective right. and the remake they're like no 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 we're gonna cgi i'm like look like a fucking dementor or something you know yeah okay and one thing that's always like bothered me is about the remake is like in the original 
I know they shot it in Texas. I don't know if they shot this in Texas or not, but out there like in Waco and Almarilla and like uh, Shabina or whatever fucking like counties out in Texas, right. it's really fucking dry. But yeah, there's a lot of water just everywhere mm -hmm. like down in the basement mm -hmm. there's just water like everywhere and in the yeah. abattoir there's like like humidity you know and it I, I know those places are pretty fucking dry and i think that's what the first one brings it's hot but it's dry heat Right. Compared to this one, which makes everything feel kind of like humidity. Like I think the they go back and, to that in the next one. Yeah, the, the the dry heat. But I think that they just really looked for reasons to make Jessica Biel wet. <laughs> um, I mean, I didn't know you could see her nipples through her bra and tank top until I watched. I forgot all about that. I was like, oh shit! I did not see that coming. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, there. I think that the water in the basement that was a good touch. It's just kind of like it made it gross. creepy, but it's, it's unsanitary. It's it's nasty. This family isn't living right. You know, yeah. it, it it lends to all that. The random turning on the sprinklers in the murder farm. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand that. What what the fuck was that supposed to do? And then, uh, except wet her shirt and make her sexy glisten. Um, sexy glisten. And then we get pouring rain. Right. In Texas. In desert. In Or, or plain desert. She chases you know? him through the woods. Or she doesn't chase him. He chases her through the woods. And it's like, where's the woods? There's no woods. Where's the woods? Why like, are you chasing through those the little on crops that farmers plant it to, you know, do windbreaks? Right, you right, know, right. That's they're real thin, you know, yeah. through, you know, these like cattle need large grazing land and yeah, shit. Yeah, they yeah. don't need woods. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, there was little like, uh, there was a little bit of like trees here and there in the original. Right. But they, she hauled ass through woods. Like right. that's not Texas, like, like yeah. or not in the area that this movie's supposed to be set in. Right, I'm sure yeah. Texas has trees, but the, yeah, they, like I said, they have like trees, but they're like they're planted. And I know, like you know, hey, listen, you watching this, and please, yeah, shut us, us up. Tell, tell us, us all if about they're how we're like wrong. like forest out there yeah. by like waco amarillo yeah. you know where they would have shot these like out in western texas you know yeah. uh but yeah so but once again it did that ruin the movie no but at the same time i didn't think about it, it until kind you of like it. on that note jacob yes would you go see this in the theater i i did I saw it in the theater, but I mean, if it was like we're re-releasing this into the theaters, I'm going to pass. I think I would have to pass on this too. I don't know. Her tits would be huge. <laughs> and seeing and seeing Hoyt. You're going to have to watch this whole movie for something like you can, can just Google. Google. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. But it's more fun when it's on accident <laughs> like that. Uh, physical copies. Yeah, I got two. I got really bummed that I had two. That's hilarious. I have like three of these fucking yeah, things yeah. because someone found, like I bought one, someone found on a, uh, like it at a, like a yard sale or something mm. and gave it to me. Mm. And then um, I think I have like a multi-pack of like mm. like horror movies and i was like oh i don't have like the tim curry it and that's on there and shit mm. and so i got like three of those bastards just chilling yeah so. i went through my dvd case uh or my cd case of movies and they're they're made the the discs are look different mm. and i was like oh this must be 2003 and this must be 2006 and i put them both in my little portable dvd player to see which ones they were <laughs> and they were both the same movie you know and i think that upset me <laughs> and i think it was just a spiral after that dude I, yeah that, that's the reason fucking all right uh physical copies mm. is a cult classic no no 
No, that's not. I think Hoyt is I mean, a cult classic. Yeah, he's a cult figure. You and know, he's an icon now. What's better, the remake or the original? You can answer. I just did. No, the original. The yeah. original's better. Yeah, always. There's, yeah, there's no touching that one. I am bummed though, because I do have a Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh tattoo on my back, and I think it's this leather face. <laughs> I think that the tattoo artist fucked up and gave me this face. Gave you that. I'm or almost you, sure. Jessica of it. Beale with a chainsaw. Shit, I'd take it. 